Hey everyone, in this video, I wanted to show you how to convert an HEIC file into a JPEG file on Mac or PC. I'm gonna start with a Mac and then I'll show you an option for PC that actually works for Mac and PC, but there is a super easy option to do this. Now, HEIC is the new format on iOS 11 or later, so the iPhone X, for example, takes images in this format. So if you want to convert it to JPEG, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So in a super easy way on a Mac is control clicking on it and opening it with preview. Obviously, if you have something like Photoshop, that's even easier. But go ahead and open it with preview. And you could go to file on top here and then go to export right here on preview. And here, all you want to do is change the format to JPEG. So once you do that, you could change the quality. Now it depends on file size, it's gonna tell you. So if you need to email something, you just wanna get it to be a little bit smaller. Or if you don't care about size, just go for best, name it, choose where you wanna save that to, and then go ahead and save it. So I'll just go ahead and save it to my desktop, then I'll show you it. And here is that JPEG file. Sometimes it's not gonna say JPEG here, but if you press Command I, you could see that it's a JPEG file extension. You could see all about the size and so on. So that's a simple way to do it. If that does not work for you, or if you're on a PC, let me show you how to do that right now. Let's go to Chrome here, and I'm gonna put a link in the description to this website. Just go ahead and click that link, and you should just be able to drop that HEIC file or HEIF file right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And when I drop the file right here, you see that it converts, and you could have a desktop version too here, but the web version works just fine and then you could just go ahead and press download. It will download it to your download folder. It's that simple with this website. Another solution I've seen is this other website, iamazing.com, and you could try to use their app, but their app does a lot more than what you need to do in this case, so I recommend just using the web version here. But if you wanna just take it completely out of the web, you could do the desktop version of this app or try the iamazing app. And if you're on a Mac, the preview option should have just worked for you that simply. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. I post easy to follow tech videos and I have well over 400 videos on this channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.